like I do think it is a matter of like somebody have to step aside for others to be heard. So I think this is a great example of that. This project is a great example of where space is being made for women and other diverse voices that should be getting heard. It came out of that, you know, need for us to create our own narratives due to an idea that we wanted as, you know, young Afro-Australian women, we want to come together and develop something that we've never seen on TV before in the media about, you know, our stories. Because it is something that's not seen often enough in this country, but also because I think it's coming from heart and soul from the group of women that it's not just purely a duty, but it's something honest and authentic to themselves. This was the first time I get to, you know, be part of a collective and it, it, it means a lot to me. It is a sisterhood and some of these women, you know, I've been friends with previously, but some of them, you know, I only knew them through another project that I've done. So it was really good to see all these creative minds coming together. When you look at the content that's coming from America or being produced, I just think this has an ability to travel so much further beyond Australia. And I think we should be thinking bigger like that. So I'm excited about what Afro Sisters is that it shouldn't just be seen as something we just show in Australia. So the way Afro Sisters just took off for me, it did come as a surprise to some extent because usually, you know, as a filmmaker, when you put your work out there, you hope for the best, but at the same time, you just sort of see, you know, if it's going to be well received or not. So you're just kind of like hanging in there for a little while. But knowing that, you know, people have an interest in it, I thought, you know, for me, it just kind of like validated the point that I was saying before that it's really, it's time for us to, you know, tell our own stories. And we've got, you know, other Afro-Australians here who want to see themselves on TV. So that representation was really important for them to feel like, oh, you know, someone is telling our story and people that look, you know, similar to us. And, you know, the themes that we explore about these characters are very interesting and relatable. So I feel like that, you know, makes it what it is today and, you know, how we kind of like garner all this interest from people here and even overseas, because when I went to LA and I was sharing, you know, the Afro Sisters card with them and even just the business card just interests people and they're like this Afro common and a business card. Oh, this is interesting. I would like to check it out. Compared to maybe other places overseas, uh, Australia's only got like a limited platform of where we can view and create content just by the scale of our industry. So I think it's important that space is being made. It's not like I do think it is a matter of like some of you have to step aside for others to be heard. So I think this is a great example of that. In terms of my duty as a filmmaker, I want to tell stories that are authentic and reflect, you know, the community that I'm sharing about. So it, it is somehow, you know, it is my responsibility and being from an African background, you know, I feel like I want to tell the right stories that reflect that because the things that we hear about, you know, and the way the media sort of portrays Africans are quite negative. So I feel like it's our time to bring some light to this, to bring some color and spice up, you know, our screens with what truly is it is to be, you know, an Afro-Australian. What women can also take from afro sisters is seeing, you know, just a truth. I mean, I haven't read the new series, but what I believe it is, is a heart of just true friendship that should be able to be a universal value no matter what culture you come from. <laughs>